Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the top new features and changes available with Windows 10 version 2004. Before we move on, make sure to check the video description for links and other important information such as the release date for this new version and more. Now let's have a closer look at the most interesting features and changes in this release. Perhaps one of the most interesting features you will find on version 2004 is the new cloud download feature for Reset This PC, which allows you to download a fresh copy of Windows 10 directly from the Microsoft servers to reset and reinstall the operating system instead of using the image locally available on your computer. The cloud download option will reinstall the same build version and edition that you're currently using on your device. So technically you can use this feature to do an upgrade of Windows 10. Also when selecting this new option it will remove all the apps already installed on the device and if you're using the remove everything option it will also delete all the user data on the device. If you prefer not to re-download the files from the cloud you can still use the local reinstall option which will create a recovery bill to reinstall Windows 10 using the files on your computer. Another new feature with this new update is the text cursor indicator, which is a new feature that will help you to find the text cursor anywhere it might be on the screen at any time. Using this page, you can enable the feature using this option. And let me just show you right here. That's how the new text indicator looks like. And as you can see right here, we have a slider so we can change the size and we can also change the color. And if you don't like any of the suggested colors, you can always click this button and create your own color. On Windows 10 version 2004, the backup setting has also been updated with a new option to backup your files on the desktop documents and picture folders to OneDrive. This is not a new feature, but the setting included on the backup settings, it's new to version 2004. So if you want to use this feature, you can click this option to open the OneDrive settings. And here you can select the folders that you want to backup to the cloud. And then just click and start backup. We'll start syncing those files to your OneDrive account. So starting with version 2004, Windows 10 is introducing the Windows Subsystem for Linux 2 which is the latest version that now uses a real Linux kernel using a lightweight virtual machine. And as a result, it changes the way that the Linux binaries interact with Windows 10 and the hardware while keeping the same experience. Also, the new experience means faster system performance and full system call compatibility, which allows you to run more applications such as Docker. And you will be able to connect network apps using localhost. In addition, Windows Subsystem for Linux 2 now includes support for global configuration options that you can apply to each distro. Another new feature available with Windows 10 version 2004 is native support for network cameras to make it easier for developers to build security and machine learning video analytics solutions, including for common surveillance scenarios like people detection and face sentiments analysis. If you use virtual desktops to group different tasks or projects, you can now specify a custom name for each desktop. You can do this by clicking the current name or the desktop and just specifying the new name. Or you can also right click to access the rename option. In addition, you can also use emoji if that's something that you want to use as part of the name. Starting with this update, Cortana is no longer part of the operating system. Instead, it is now an app that updates through the Microsoft Store and provides a new chat-based interface with the ability to input text or voice to interact with the assistant. As a result of Cortana not being part of Windows 10 anymore, you will no longer find the settings to configure Cortana on the settings app. So now the only way to control Cortana is just to access the settings through the app itself. As you can see right here, we got a different tabs where you can control the settings for the assistant. The app also now supports the light and dark mode available on Windows 10 and the new experience offers a less intrusive screen for Hey Cortana queries that can stay in float while you work. In addition, the system has been updated with a new speech and language model, performance has been improved and now you can even drag the app anywhere and you can also resize it. 
just like a normal app. Windows 10 is also adding changes to make the optional feature settings more useful, including the ability to install multiple features at once. So for example, now when you want to add a new feature, you can select multiple items and then just click the install button to get it on your device. In addition, now we get a new search box to quickly find the features that you have installed on your computer and a sort by menu to make it easier to find the features already installed by size, date, or name. If you want to see the features that you installed recently, you can see them right here, or you can also click the see optional features history. Finally, starting with this new version of Windows 10, now you can uninstall apps such as Paint, Notepad, and Wordpad. As part of the uh, sign-in experience, Windows 10 is introducing a new Require Windows Hello Sign-In for Microsoft Accounts option, which is also one of the best features you will find on version 2004. When you enable this feature, it will switch your Microsoft accounts that are configured on your device to a modern authentication method using Windows Hello Face, Fingerprint, or Pen. So let me show you. If I disable the option now when I lock the computer, we see that we can click the sign-in options and switch between password or PIN. But now if we enable the new feature, when we lock the device, restart the device or sign in and sign out, and anywhere inside of the operating system, you will no longer find the option to use a password, but you can still use a PIN to get in. In this update, Microsoft is also adding tweaks for the notification settings. For example, now notifications pop-ups, includes a new inline option to turn off notifications for that app or to go to the notification settings for that particular app. Other noticeable changes are happening in the status page. In version 2004, the status page is getting a new update with a new view of active connections and quick access to change settings, as you can see right here. If you have multiple connections, only the one connected to the internet will be shown right here. Also, you'll notice that the data usage section is no longer available in this menu because now you can see how much data is being used right in the status page, as you can see right here. If you're using a lot of data, you can click the data usage button, which will access the same page that you used to be able to access in the past to create limits which you can use to get warnings when you get closer or go over a limit. In addition, from this page, you can also see how much data each app is using. The language settings isn't getting new features, but you will find some visual changes. For example, the page has been redesigned to make it easier to understand your current configuration, as the page now includes a new section, letting you quickly understand which languages are configured by default, which you can also click to change the settings as necessary. Starting with Windows 10 version 2004, Microsoft is extending the Windows Defender capabilities beyond the operating system, and as a result, the name of the security feature is now changing from Windows Defender to Microsoft Defender, as you can see right here. And this is to reflect that the solution is now a cross-platform approach for security endpoint. Finally, another best feature that you're going to find in this new feature update for Windows 10, it's a new improvement for the Bluetooth pair. Although you have been able to pair wireless devices for a long time, after installing this update, you will be able to pair Bluetooth devices directly from the notification pop-up, as you can see right here, as soon as the device is detected without the need to open the settings app. In addition, Windows 10 now has an improved interface that shows less notifications, making pairing a little bit faster. And finally, the feature now adds a dismiss button, as you can see right here, to the first notification to give you more control while pairing a device. And those were the top features and changes you will find on Windows 10 version 2004 or the April 2020 update, or even the May 2020 update, depending on the name that Microsoft chooses at the end for this release. I will be leaving a link in the video description below alongside links 
to other videos about this update. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.